Hello. Where is everybody? It's been a while. We got interactive on my channel. I miss everybody. You guys have not been looking for me. So I have come to look for you people. I hope you're doing well. I'm equally doing well. So today, I want us to discuss some few things. And this is as a result of phone calls I got from followers on the channel, inquiries they are making about marketability for the produce that they intend cultivating. Okay, so we are looking at two things. The five things you have to do that will guarantee your success in farming. And of course, we are also going to look at marketability and the reality. Most often, when we are going to start a business, even if it's not farming, any business, we do not concentrate or give a lot of importance to doing market survey or research. Market survey can start from your family, your friends, um, church members, neighbors, um, anybody you can have access to. You can start your market survey from there. So assuming that you want to, yesterday for instance, somebody called me, he wants to go into snail farming. And so he wanted to find out from me if there is markets available. And I said, oh, chief, if you're asking whether there is market available for your snail, if you start, um, that would not be the best thing to do. A lot of people, I can confidently say, they buy from different sources. They buy the snail from different sources, okay? Some go to buy directly from the market women. Some end up consuming in restaurants or chore bars. Some go to the farm to buy. So if you want to start snail farming, you need to do a research. The friends you have, I have close to 3,000 contacts on my phone. So if I want to go into snail farming, I need to send a message to each and everybody or probably do an artwork and put it on my status. Snail for sale. I have the farm. If you want to buy some, just let me know. You will start getting feedbacks, okay, from people who are interested, people who consume snail. They will call you. They reach out to you. Do you sell the snail? Where do you sell it? Do you do delivery? Or we have to come to you to buy from you and all that. So you have to do the market survey and be sure that whatever it is I'm going to start, I would get market because you know what farming can be very stressful it is fun it is stressful the only thing that will not make you stop farming is the passion and the love the refusal to bow to failure or mistakes that is the only thing that can make you succeed in farming but let me tell you today here and now that it is no joke to go into farming so please the marketing is very important please make sure you map out people you intend selling to do not assume that snail is being consumed or people are buying snail so i'm going to start please do a market survey okay it is very very important now let's proceed to the main subject today the five things you have to do it is very basic it is very very normal i'm sure we are all aware of it the first one has to do with starting with anything or what you have so i get phone calls again from people who watch my program on youtube and they are like and you know i want to start a coconut farm i want to start oil palm farm and i want to do it on a commercial um i want to find out if you can help me get 50 acre of farmland 
or 10 acre or 20 acre of farmland listen you see farming comes with a lot of things so you don't necessarily have to start off your farming journey with 55 10 or 20 acre before it is considered that you are serious about farming even if it's one acre farm if it is one acre land that you have access to if the, if the land is just one acre start off with it it is about starting making the mistakes learning and moving forward that is what matters the most now listen if you go and buy this 10 acre do you even know how much it will cost you to plow if you're using laborers if you don't have your own tractor and you have to even hire a tractor the services of a tractor do you know how much it will cost you to plow this 10 acre so please if you have just one acre start off with it if the money you have to buy the seedlings can only buy for one acre start off with it if you have just one laborer and you are available get involved so every weekend you go to the farm because maybe you are working in the city so you will not be able to go Monday to Friday so just start off with just one acre uh, one acre and then one laborer you don't necessarily have to have five or ten or three laborers for the community people or for your family or your friends or siblings to say hey you are serious no it's not about what people say it's about starting with what you have at the end of the day the outcome will determine if you would expand or you will still continue with a one acre tail you are able to make progress you're able to find your feet you've become a master an authority then you can you can expand so please if you're going to start your farming journey um avoid saying that i want to start with hello yebua hi thanks for watching avoid saying but if you don't have please just make sure that you start off with your one acre one acre one laborer um it's good to go love you dear dennis thanks for joining so please start with what you have now the next one the point two is leadership leadership is everything leadership by example leadership is what motivates the workers to follow leadership is what makes your employees or your followers fall in love with the work they are doing there are a lot of people who want to go into farming and yet they don't even want to go to the farm and help let's say you are into livestock and your pig is giving birth and you go to the farm your farm manager calls you boss tomorrow uh, the pig will be giving birth and then you want to uh please can you visit you go there and you don't want to touch the pig you don't want to collect during giving birth i mean when they are in labor they can you know wee wee they can poo poo they can do a lot of things and when the farm manager is helping to helping the pig to give birth and there are poo poo on the ground and there are things that has to be taken care of you say you fold your arms and you are commanding a leader does not work like that you see a lot of farm workers end up not taking good care of the farm robbing you um doing all sort of things because you the owner of the farm you think you're too big to get involved when you go to the farm you don't sit with your farm manager to interact how have you been how is your family are you okay is there anything you need for me to do for you what do you think we can do to make the farm better what is trending have you spoken to other colleagues who are working in different farms please if you are a leader and you want your farm to be better your farm should grow you want to harvest your produce and be happy you want accountability for the seed you buy the fertilizer you buy uh, the irrigation you have installed 
um, the tools or equipment used in the farm, if you want transparency, if you want to have everything that you have invested in to be in place, please get involved. If you are in a brochure or you are abroad, well, you are spared from what I'm saying. But as soon as you come down to Ghana, as soon as you come down to Ghana, please make sure that when you visit your farm, you get involved in the work. Even if you are abroad and you have a farm in Ghana and you call your farm manager, please be nice, show care and concern. How is Ghana? How is the family? How is farming? Is everything okay with you? Is there anything? Make them feel they belong. Then they would, you make them feel that they are also relevant. Get involved in your farming journey. That is the only way your laborers would keep up. They will work with passion and make sure they achieve the goal at the end of the day. Leadership by example. Do not go and do gentility. If you go there and there's some rats or you see some uh, snake, instead of you people coming together to kill the snake, hey, 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 share, when your papa, who should do the work for you? This is what you said you want to do. It is not just your money that will speak for you. You as the individual, you need to get involved. Gideon, hello, get involved. The next point is always ask questions. Point number three, always ask questions. Listen, if you have a farm and your farm manager, hello boss, um, I have a fertilizer now. Yeah, toy, you know, we have to buy another one. Ask him, I bought about five bags and we knew that the five bags would finish within two weeks or three weeks or in a week. How come you're calling me it's finished already and we have to replace? They call you, hello boss, the feed you bought for the poultry is finished. We have to buy more feed. Ask questions. How many times do you feed the, um, how do we call it? How many times do you feed your poultry birds? I'm sure you have an agreement. You feed them twice a day. So if you have bought bags of different, different feed, you know how long it will take. So why is it that they call you that, oh, we need to buy feed and then you are rushing? Because you have the money, you are sending the money. No. They call you there's an infestation, there's armyworm in the maize farm. So we need to buy this kind of uh, pesticide or we need to buy this chemical to spray. You should ask questions. Which specific one are you asking us to buy? Can you send me images of the ones we bought previously so I can check with my a great officer or a friend, I have an agronomist, if we should still buy the same thing or we should buy a different, please ask questions on anything and everything your farm workers tell you, even if you don't know. As soon as you get into a certain space, you need to have friends. You need to have consultants, have people who have an... So what I'm saying is that if you are called about your farm, let's say poultry, there is an outbreak and they are dying. And your farm manager call you, the poultry bears are dying. Why are they dying? Are you not fumigating the place? How many times do you fumigate? When you're going into the, the, pick, um, the poultry pen, do you wear your boots? Do you step in the, uh, that water containing some form of chemical? Uh, do, you, do you actually do what you're supposed to do before you enter into where the poultry, uh, the beds are kept, please ask questions. Don't always do what the workers will say. We need this, then you're sending money. We need that, then you're doing it. We need if you are doing it. Please, you need to ask questions. Okay, recently I got a worker for a certain farmer and they got a place for the lady to go and stay, the worker to go and stay. The lady says the place is not good. I asked the, uh, the farm manager or the owner of the farm, why is she saying it's not good? Have you asked her if she wants to maybe renovate the interior? If, is there anything she needs? You should ask questions. You, you don't just listen to them talk, talk, and you ask. No. Please ask questions about everything and anything your farm worker or manager will call you to talk about or report about. 
The next point is learn from mistakes. Please allow yourself to do all the mistakes that you're going to do. A friend of mine called recently. He's in the U.S. I'm going to use you, uh, your story as an example. He's in the U.S. and he hired the services of uh, borehole to be drilled so he can be able to farm all year through and be able to irrigate the farm. Apparently, the company didn't do a good job, if I should say. Because if they did, they would have realized the amount of salt in the water. At the end of the day, he's going to pay double. And that is why I actually had to go out there and ask all the questions. So please, if this is your first time watching me, subscribe to my channel, The Ghanaian Farmer. Please subscribe to the channel. Watch each and every episode. There are a lot for you to learn from. Watching these videos will give you an in-depth knowledge on what to decide on whether you want to do agribusiness buying and selling or you want to we have a lot mango pawpaw choose what you want to do watching these videos one after the other will help you to settle on one the livestock we have pig we have poultry we have rabbits we have goat cow everything you can think about guinea fowl turkey it is all there watch the videos share with a friend but what i'm saying is that you're going to make mistakes please have that in mind. You make a lot of mistakes. A lot of mistakes. You might buy the wrong fertilizer. You might, have the, you might hire the services of the wrong laborer who would come and mess up things for you. You might invest into things that are not necessarily. And then you later discover, oh, I shouldn't have invested into this. You might um, try to build a big farmhouse. No. I'll, I'll bring you a video on farmhouse. Temporal farmhouse that would give comfort to your farm worker they will stay in there they will be happy they'll work and everything will be cool allow yourself to make all the mistakes and you learn it is out of the mistakes that you learn to correct or amend your ways let me give you this example a farmer who wanted to go and do uh cabbage okay one of the things you should take into consideration, please, is that maybe you have bought a farmland that somebody has used for a very long time and their time is over, so they left it and then you went to buy it, okay? And you want to start your farming. Please do soil testing. Please. Soil testing would let you know if you cultivate this crop, it will do well. Or not don't just start farming without doing soil testing there, ha there are modern ways now to do soil testing okay that are very very less expensive that you don't have to go through a lot of stress testing the soil will tell you okay so if you cultivate watermelon here it will do well testing the soil will tell you if you cultivate garden eggs here it will do well testing the soil will tell you no don't try to cultivate um bell pepper here it will not do well you get to know the quantity or the amount don't do that either your crops will all die or the yields you are expecting you won't get it yes because you didn't do soil analysis you didn't do soil testing so you won't get it please do soil testing so as for mistakes, a lot, a lot of them, you'll be doing it. Your farm workers will do mistakes. Yourself, you will do mistakes. But don't let that deter you. It should rather build your confidence. It should rather give you hope. It should rather prepare you for the future ahead. Okay? So take all those things into consideration. And the last point is never give up. If you give up, it means you have failed. It means that you were not prepared for this. It means that any other space or any other sector you go into, when you start and there are challenges, you run away and go to the next one. Remember they say, he who fights and uh, run away, you live to fight another day. Am I correct? Listen, you cannot 
give up because of climate change, flooding, you know, uh, damaged everything, uh, infestation, um, labor stealing from you, investing money, and you didn't get the returns as a spetting. No, you can't give up. If you give up, what story is there to be told? So somebody who come to you and tell you, I also want to go into farming. What do you think I should do? What do you have to say? There's no experience to share. The only experience, hey, man, cool. Don't try to. I failed when I started. Is that what you want to say? No. Don't give up on anything. Keep trying. Keep learning. Take it one at a time. Okay? Listen, the Ghanaian farmer, I have to drive to far away, different regions, paying people to shoot for me. After they shoot, I bring it to an editor to edit for me before I put it on television and then later put it on YouTube. And so when you're watching my video and you're skipping the ads, it means that you don't want me to get even one. Let the ads play and then you continue watching. That is the only way you can support the work I'm doing. I have invested so much into recording, editing, putting on TV, and at the end of the day, finding itself on YouTube. Just imagine how much a young lady I'm investing into producing this content. Okay? And I've not given up because I know that it would pay off someday. So please, giving up is a no-no. In agriculture, there are a lot of things that are happening. Recently, we have all experienced the rain pattern, the inconsistent rain pattern, the shortage of fertilizer. So please make use of the organic waste that you generate in your homes. And keep it for some time. Mix it with your soil. Start producing your own organic fertilizer. It would help reduce the dependency on fertilizers that we use on our crops. Our health is at stake. So let's eat a little bit of healthy food out there. And me and you, if you want to be farmers, we have to take this seriously. So five things that you need to do. I am done for the day. Five things that you have to do whilst you are on your journey as a farmer. Number one, work with what you have. If your resources can afford one acre farmland, start with it. If your resources can afford just one worker, one laborer, start with that person. Number two, leadership. If you are a farmer and you have your money and you started your farming, please, it is not about gentility. If you do that, your farm workers would feel inferior and they will rob you of your investment. They will not be passionate. There will not be no love for the work they are doing. They will not be committed. A true leader gets involved and sets the pace. You set the example for your workers to follow. Number three, ask questions about everything and anything you were told by your workers. Okay? Number four, allow yourself to do all the mistakes and learn from those mistakes. Number five, don't give up on my youtube channel please subscribe and share and if you want to connect with me for any inquiries please you can contact me on 0554830431 plus two two plus two three three sorry five five four eight three zero four three one get in touch if you have any question you're free to share your question if you don't have any question then i'll say goodbye to you enjoy your weekend I am happy you made time to watch me. I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow or next week. But hey, keep being good. And remember, I love you. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I'll see you some other time. Bye-bye.